It is our first full day in Lima. We don't know anything about this place. We haven't been exploring yet. The only thing I do know is that Lima is the culinary capital of South America. So needless to say, we have booked a food tour. Since this was like such a big food city, we wanted to make sure that we picked the right one. So we talked to a lot of people. We ultimately went with Delectable Peru. And Erica, the owner, is picking us up to take us around the city today, and we are so excited. She seemed the most excited and passionate like we are. Can't wait to meet her. Yay! Oh, Erica? <laughs> Erica? Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Kara. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is our guide, Erica. She told us to come hungry, so all I've had today is a big cup of coffee. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> One We just got a tour of the whole local market. <laughs> we're buying lots of fruits, and we're trying an orange banana, which is only in Peru. It has so much taste. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna eat it like a dessert, because I want you to try something that you never tried before, that is like the granadilla. Yeah. famous here. He's on all the local shows and he met Anthony Bourdain who came and interviewed him. The market is right next to the ocean so we're getting our first views of the Pacific Ocean. just got in last night we hadn't seen any of the city so we made a detour on the way to ceviche and she's taking us to one of the best viewpoints to overlook the entire city lima is so impressive i had no earthly idea it was in a desert and i'm loving this sunny weather and blue skies we've basically been in rainy season for the last month and at altitude where it's been cold so it's just making this day even better We are at Lamar. It is officially ceviche time. Turns out we get to go in the kitchen and help prepare the ceviche. Jairo is the chef and he's in charge of the ceviche and he will show us how to make the ceviche. Mira, primero para poner el a la parrilla vamos a usar aceite de oliva. Oh, 
Our new friend Juan Lopez has worked here for 10 years and he whipped up this dish in about two seconds. It smells and looks so delicious. They're his specialty grilled scallops. I can already tell you I'm gonna love this. I don't even feel like I have to say that it's the best I've ever had. No Peruvian food tour would be complete without a pisco sour. This restaurant has been so much fun. We got here and before I knew it, I was behind the counter making ceviche and then over in the smoking hot grill with Juan making the scallops. It's just been crazy, but so good. We just drove to the bohemian town of Baraco. All the buildings are a lot more colonial looking than in Miraflores where we're staying. It's super pretty and it's Erica's favorite part of town, so I'm excited. This is one of the top 50 restaurants in Latin America and we just met the chef. He seems awesome and he reminds me of Anthony Bourdain. We have another traditional drink that is called Chicano. Okay. It's amazing. You will love it. So this restaurant is called Isolina, which is the chef's mom's name, and all of his recipes are her recipes, which is just so sweet. Salud! Okay, Karen told me how to try this because she's tried everything else today. Silverfish, on bread, with onions, and tomatoes and onions. There's some kind of white, white tartar sauce in between the fried fish and the bread. It's almost like Fried ceviche on a piece of bread. The perfect appetizer. Okay, ready? So dish number two is cow cow, which is the stomach of a cow. And on top is blood sausage. This one's a little crazier than all the other things that we've eaten today. Mm. And the cow's stomach is very like mushy, so they're kind of a good combo. I know that sounds really gross. This dish took five hours to make, so I feel really special that we get to eat it. The meat is so tender. It really reminds me of something that my grandma would make in the crock pot like all day long. I love it. The one that we're eating is Seco de Asado de Tira con Arroz y Frijoles, which is beef with beans and rice. Our next dish is the famous Peruvian Lomo Saltado. This looks the best out of all three. It smells amazing. It's beef with onions and potatoes and tomatoes and carrots, some kind of herb. It just looks incredible. I'm just gonna try the beef first. <laughs> I'm glad we're walking because I'm getting full. Yes. Demonstration. 
So everyone's heard of a Pisco Sour in Peru, but there's another traditional drink that's very similar, but instead of Pisco, it's made with this rum. This one is made in Cusco, it's called Cañazo, and it's made with sugar cane juice. It's very similar to a Pisco Sour, but it has a lot of other little fancy things in it. And look, you put it in the top of it. We just said bye to Erica and got dropped off at our place. I'm not gonna lie, I had super high expectations for our food tour in Lima. I've basically been looking forward to doing this since we got to Peru <laughs> and she did not disappoint. We made a fantastic decision going with Delectable Peru. It's the first private food tour we've ever done and it was amazing. Much different than all of our other food tours, but so cool how she only does private tours because she wants it to be like as personal as possible and so like a few times she would say what are you in the mood for like she no two tours are the same for her and she kept telling us like this isn't what we normally do but then it was like there's never a normal i also think she's the most passionate food tour guide we've ever had and she knows everybody yeah we got to meet the chef at every restaurant we went to she's friends with all of them we awesome. we stopped at places just to say hey to her friends <laughs> so that we'd know to go back later because she was just like telling us it was a good yeah. restaurant or like it was the best bread in town yeah it was awesome i think we're gonna go slip into a food company now <laughs> thank you erica and delectable for Such good sunset. You imagine like going in the, in the top back now and putting yeah. it <laughs> so Is that what they make the tea out of? Exactly. Mm. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Our next dish is the 